Hey, it's uh, Dan Morales. This is Home Buyer Radio, episode number 154. Hey, my apologies. Uh, you know, I have been doing this podcast uh, for, uh, gosh, a really long time, right? Uh, probably in the neighborhood of about three years that we've been doing Home Buyer Radio. There's so much information. Um, you know, I run into so many things on a daily basis with clients. Uh, so many stories that I could share with you um, as part of this podcast. Now, part of uh, the challenge is uh, I am a very busy loan officer. I, I write a lot of loans. Um, I keep very busy, and it can make it tough uh, to contribute to this podcast on a regular basis. So please accept my apologies. Uh, kind of following off the uh, once a week episode here, and I just want to kind of jump back into it um, as best we can and uh, keep you guys educated. Now, hey, one of the things, you know, this is a podcast uh, that's going to hit on uh, Monday, March 2nd, um, mortgage rates are phenomenal, guys. Um, if you are not in the market to buy a house, uh, first of all, why are you listening to the podcast, right? Uh, but if you are in the market to buy a house, now is a great time. Like the cost of money is insanely cheap. Um, cheaper than it's been in like probably my entire career, right? And, and that's like 29 years. It's not like I started yesterday. Uh, I've been doing this a really long time. Mortgage money is super cheap. Now, granted, the market is very competitive. Like I know that. Um, that's why it's really important that you listen to these podcasts and you follow up on, you know, the suggestions that I give to you. You know, one being that you work with somebody who is knowledgeable, um, knows what they're doing and is going to do a really good job for you. Uh, now, how do you know that, right? Well, if you listen to you know some of the previous podcasts, you know, look at reviews. Like, does this person have reviews of their own? Uh, if they don't have reviews, you want to ask why. Why don't they have reviews? Uh, you know, why don't they have raving fans? You know, if you look at, if you were to look me up, you're going to see we've got over 100 reviews on Zillow. Uh, I think we're pushing like 30 or so on Google. And there's probably another, you know, two to 300 that are in good old school uh, paper. Yeah, uh, right. Uh, one of these days I'll digitize that stuff and get it on the website uh, because I think that would be uh, something that's important for people to be able to see. But we have a proven track record of taking care of our clients for decades. Yep, I'm that old. Decades. But, you know, so it's important that you're working with somebody who knows what they're doing. They're going to help you to craft that offer uh, so that you have the best opportunity to win and have the most, if you will, favorable loan structure so that your overall cost to borrow is as best as it can be for you. So this week, what do we want to talk about? We want to talk about stupid tax, right? I think I've talked about this before in a previous episode where, you know, sometimes clients uh, end up paying uh, what I like to call stupid tax because they do something that uh, puts them in a less uh, favorable position or they do something that hurts them along the mortgage process uh, that they didn't realize uh, and they end up paying what I like to call stupid tax because, you know, this mistake is something that becomes costly or hurts them, you know, long term. Uh, I've run into it more and more often where I have clients who will reach out and these clients no more about the mortgage business than I do. And, uh, you know, they're typically people who, you know, have probably done too much reading on the internet. They believe the things that they read on the internet to believe true, uh, to be true when oftentimes uh, they're not. Uh, I recently, uh, within the course of this last week, had a young lady who reached out to me um, and she was looking for information. She had made application with multiple lenders, not just us, but with multiple lenders. And she proceeded to tell me that, you know, she had a really good offer from this other lender and the other lender was going to let her do a 3% down payment and not pay any mortgage insurance. And on top of it, it wasn't going to cost her anything, you know, to buy out of that mortgage insurance. And she was going to get a market rate and blah, blah, blah. Well, long story short, she wasn't getting a market rate. She was getting an above market rate. She convinced herself that it was a market rate, but it wasn't, uh, you know, and at the end of the day, that loan structure could have potentially been something that was in her best interest and it may not have been right because part of the discussion that you have to have with your lender is what are your long-term goals what are you planning on doing long term are you going to stay in this property long term um, you know are you going to prepay it faster um, is there a potential for significant change in income potential that you know if you're a single person that you know you might have a change in life uh, where you end up getting married and you know any multitude of things that can happen that may make a difference in how long you're going to stay in a property in this person's case there's a high probability that she was not going to stay in this property long term that loan structure may 
or may not have been appropriate depending on what she was going to do. So what happens though is because she knew more about the business than I did, she assumed that you know, she was getting a market rate, blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, long story short, I know who the other loan officer was that she spoke to. Nice enough guy, but he has about one third the experience I do. Has a track record for making promises to folks that don't always get delivered. And so this is just one more person that is likely going to experience that if she chooses to work with him as part of this process. So don't put yourself in a position where you can pay stupid tax. Take the time to listen to what a prospective lender is asking you and what information they share with you. Kind of go through, listen, does it make sense? You know, can you provide me with some additional details? Uh, why would this structure be something that you would recommend? Is this something that you would do personally? You know, research the lender to make sure that the lender has a track record of servicing people successfully. You know, go through and do your homework, but don't assume you know it all, okay? Because you don't. <laughs> Let me tell you, um, you know, most of you who are listening to this podcast, you don't know this industry like I do. You don't know this business like I do. You know, I'm not saying they have to be conceited or to be some kind of, you know, uh, full of himself mortgage lender as much as, you know, when you are dealing with something as big as a house purchase, you really want to be able to trust and know that the people you're working with actually know what they're doing. Hey, when I uh, just recently sold a condo that I owned, uh, I hired a realtor. Could I have done the paperwork on my own? Absolutely. But was I an expert at pricing that property? Was I an expert at marketing that property? No, I wasn't. That's why I went and hired an expert. That's why I listened to what she told me. I did the things she told me to do so that I could sell that property and maximize the profit that I made on that property. I just got done building a new house. Well, when I built that house, I had to rely on my builder's expertise and knowledge because if I didn't, I would have assumed that I know everything. Well, I don't know everything. I know enough to be dangerous, but I don't know everything about the fine nuances that go into building a house. That's why I picked the builder I picked. That's why I worked with them. They were able to answer my questions guide me through this process. You really want to work with people who know what they're doing or you risk yourself paying stupid tax because you end up making a bad financial decision based on bad information and long term it ends up costing you big time. So don't be somebody who uh, thinks you know it all. Okay, Don't be somebody who ends up paying stupid tax. You know, Do your homework. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't have a problem with a client doing their homework to make sure that I'm a seasoned, knowledgeable lender. I don't have a problem educating a client on why I would pick one loan structure over another. I don't have a problem doing that at all. I love it when people ask good questions because the more questions you ask, the more you're going to recognize that I know my stuff far better than the people I compete with. If the only question you ask me is, what is your interest rate, then you missed the boat because interest rate is only one small part of what makes for a successful mortgage transaction. There's 153 episodes before this one. I've talked about all of this stuff multiple times, and it's my hope that as you kind of venture into buying a house, that you take some time and listen to some of these episodes and that you really start to understand how the mortgage process works. Because if you don't, you can end up paying stupid tax. Hey, I'm Dan Morales, America's Mortgage Man. My no list number is 709-729. My phone number is 616-931-4629. Uh, if you are in the market for a mortgage, um, we'd love to help you. We'd love to kind of show you the path, the way uh, to successful home ownership with a favorable mortgage outcome. Now, let me tell you this, though. Um, with mortgage rates being what they are, uh, any good mortgage loan officer is crazy busy right now. So if you're thinking about buying a house, it really makes more sense to get started on this pre-approval process earlier rather than later and to cooperate with your lender so that your lender can help serve you to the best of their ability. Again, Dan Morales, America's Mortgage Man. My name is number 709 -729. You can call me at 616-931-4629. You can find me online at danmorales.com. That's D-A-N-M-O-R-A-L-E-Z.com. Uh, my again, uh, 
tongue twisted here. <laughs> I can tell it's been a long week and weekend. Uh, but we are North Point Bank is an equal housing lender. If you have questions, concerns, please reach out. I think it's about time for me to break open that bottle of wine. Have a good one. See ya.